Hey guys, this is Execute OSRS, and today we will be doing Ernest the Chicken. You do not need any items for this quest, however, I recommend that you get some energy potions or some stamina potions if you remember uh, to make the quest go by a lot faster. You start this quest by talking to Veronica, just south of Draenor Manor, and you select the first option. Uh, sounds like a quest to me, and you'll help. Once you go through a little bit of dialogue, you'll say you see what you can do, and then you go north and enter Draenor Manor. So you and me will kiss the sky goodnight. Just run away with my darling. We'll Once you enter General Mayor, you cannot re-exit through the front door. Um, if you have never been in here before. And then once you go in, you just go. You want to go to the third floor by climbing up the first staircase, and then going to the west and going up the spiral staircase to talk to Professor Odenstein in the room. Right when you come to the stairs, like right to your right or right to the eastern side. When you begin talking to him, he's like the first option. I'm looking for a guy called Ernest, and he'll see turn him into a chicken. And once you go through a little bit of dialogue, you select the second option that you want him to change it back instantly. And then um, he said he'll need some parts. So once you've done that, you want to go down the stairs to the second floor and go to the southern room, like right in the middle with the red dot. And there will be some fish food on the ground that you are going to want to pick up. Once you get the fish food, you're going to want to um, go back down the stairs. Uh, and if you're a low level like me, you don't have to worry about that ghost or anything really in this, um, in the manner, being aggressive. Uh, but anyway, once you go down the stairs, you're going to want to go to the kitchen sign, uh, which is in the northwestern corner. There's a little red dot there. Uh, and you want to go pick that up. Which I think it is kind of weird that they have poison in the kitchen, but, you know, it's just, uh, I guess a haunted house. And you take the poison... Uh, from the kitchen and then you can either use the poison on the fish food now to make poison fish food or you're gonna have to do it at some point anyway so you might as well just do it now you're going to do that in a second but once you do that you exit the room and you go eastward to the like east um, the southeastern room with all like the little red dots on the ground and you will see a spade in the northeastern corner you're going to want to pick that up because you are going to need that uh, in a couple of minutes. You're going to exit out the door and that is how you get out of Draenor Manor for future reference if you're a new player. And then you're going to want to make your way uh, towards the southwestern corner to a fountain. And like I was saying earlier, if you uh, haven't used your poison on your fish food, this is the time to do it. Because this is where you're going to be using it. Now once you use them or you have it already, just use that on the fountain and you'll kill all the fish, all the piranhas in it. And then you're going to search it and you will find a gauge that um, that you will need. And then you're going to head northward. Uh, pretty much just, there's like a little path that runs uh, north. And you'll see a little farming sign with a spade on it and then you just go a little bit more north of that and you'll find a compost mound. And you're going to want to dig in that with your uh, spade and you'll find a key. So now you're going to head back into a drain or manor. Now once back in there, you're going to go to want to go to like the little Harry Potter-esque room under the stairs. You're going to use your key on it. Then you'll see a rubber tube. Now that zombie is aggressive, but um you can escape faster than you can be killed by it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, once you get out of that room with your tube, you're going to want to go into the room south of where you got the poison, and you're going to see a bookcase. Now, you're going to want to search the bookcase, or, yeah, search the bookcase, and it'll open up to a secret room, and then you will see a little ladder going downward. Uh, you're going to want to go down there. And then this is where you can either do two, one of two things. You can either look at this maze solver thing that I made up, and follow it that way and just pause the video or you can follow what I do on screen um, either way you will get the last item so I will see you once you get the oil can <laughs> 
So once you enter door 9, you're just going to want to go pick up the oil can um, after you have completed the maze. And then you're going to want to go back all the way upstairs to the third floor where you began talking to Professor, uh, Professor Odenstein. And I will see you there. Once you are back at the third floor, just go back into the room with uh, Professor Odenstein and check in. Uh, just begin talking to him, tell him you found everything, he will go fix his machine, and voila, the uh, Ernest will be turned back into himself, and he will say, uh, he'll pay you 300 coins, and you'll get four quest points out of it. Thank you guys for watching my Ernest Chicken Guide. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, remember to rate, like, and subscribe uh, if you liked the video. Um, Anyways, well, thank you guys, and bye-bye.